crap, bro? Are you talking smack? Talking crap, bro? Talking shit? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? What the fuck? Shit. Nah, I'm talking straps. A lot of boring math later. The bottle always was that I was the bottleneck in my business because everything was single credit for me. At a certain point, you just put. Oh, well, hello. I didn't see you there. My apologies. We're talking battery straps. So, when it comes to a battery strap for your quad, the amount of weight difference. A quality or not battery pack but a battery strap and a quality battery strap shouldn't matter although it depends on what kind of quad or drone you are flying or you have your battery strap on for toothpicks it may matter and you're trying to keep ultralight and the point of it is to be ultralight 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 that makes sense right understandable for a 5 inch quad or a 4 inch quad or a 6 inch quad or a 7 inch quad or whatever the fuck you're flying that most people fly, um, a few, uh, let's give it the benefit of the doubt and say a cheap battery strap or a more expensive or quality battery strap probably only weighs give or take 4 or 5 grams more than your cheapest battery strap. That insignificant amount of weight you're talking a couple of grams when you have a drone that weighs 200 or 300 or 400 chances are with the battery the all-up weight on it is going to be somewhere around 300 grams give or take anywhere from 10 20 to 30 grams whatever okay we're not talking literal 5 inch quad 5 grams if you're worried about five grams, lose it elsewhere. Your battery straps are kind of important. Like, if if you're breaking a battery strap every single time you crash, you're buying the wrong battery straps. Straight the fuck up. Like, it's ridiculous that they make these cheap for for what we are doing with these quads, and the manufacturers know what these battery straps are going through, what they're made for. They're making them for probably, I don't know, a, a penny, if that, maybe a tenth of a penny. And they're turning around and selling them for about $1.50 a pop, which is just fucking insane, dude. Let's check out the difference in these two battery straps. I don't need to compare 10 different battery straps that I have. I just need to show you a high quality battery strap <clears throat> and a shitty battery strap and the weight difference so that you can see for yourselves the weight difference is not significant enough for us to be worried about saving weight with a battery strap your strap maybe you guys think otherwise you know it's all kind of a preference thing anyways but <clears throat> excuse me for me I think it's silly to uh, worry about saving five or six grams on a battery strap when I personally happen to break battery straps often. And you want to know why? It's because I cheap out on them. And that's stupid. I'm not doing that anymore. It's annoying. Um, <clears throat> I go through like, if I go out and fly one day and say I'm out for maybe an hour flying. I must go through at least four or five battery straps and that can get kind of expensive when you're paying seven or eight bucks for six battery straps like that's fucking absurd dude so I'm just gonna start buying quality battery straps at a dollar or two a piece and buying less of them but also buying having to replace them less as well so I don't know. Let's check these two battery strap chart. Alright, so here we have two different battery straps, and that's all you really need to show 
an example of difference in quality. Now you can see this one, you guys know what this quality is. You've seen this stuff a thousand times. These right here are the cheapest quality. Most of the time, I mean, there's not even any sewing here. This is literally just melted together. That's it. And this, just this material, it's so thin, it's it's basically like a, a really cheap plastic. Or nylon is what it really is, but it doesn't matter. Then you move on to this one, which has got the metal buckle instead of a plastic buckle. So it a lot less likely to ever break, which it never will. Not for what we are using these for. Highly doubt that this buckle is ever going to break. On the other hand, these break all the time. Also, this is not, while it might be some type of nylon, there's definitely some sort of um, soft material. When we're talking materials, nylon is more of a hard or plasticky material in any way that it is um, produced. This is more of like a cloth material as well as nylon. Um, and they make some of these that are made out of Kevlar. This, however, is not. But it is a lot better quality of material than something like this. And while the quality, the overall quality of this battery strap is pretty shitty, it the uh, quality in material um, is a lot better. It's going to hold up a lot longer. Um, and definitely, this battery strap is going to weigh more than this battery strap. That's kind of a given. Now, we're going to actually weigh them just for shits and gigs, just so we can see the difference. And so you guys know yourselves what the difference in weight on these two are. Now, Use my little bitty drug scale. This is what I I uh, weigh out pounds and pounds of uh, cocaine and strippers on. Uh, 6.7 grams for this high quality battery strap, but it is higher quality for sure. 2.8, so three grams for that one, and seven grams for that one. What did I tell you guys? Five or six grams difference? Bam. So three grams versus seven grams. Four grams difference. That ain't shit. I got my goggles on. Huh? Okay. I don't like that one. I got my goggles on. I got my goggles. I got my goggles on. I got them on. They're on my head. Now, I had to stop the video and I had to add this little bitty in. Just a little bit. All right, I added in. Cool. See ya. You, the people, have the power. The power to create machines. The power to create happiness. You, the people, have the power to make this life free and beautiful. To make this life a wonderful adventure. Then in the name of democracy, let us use that power. Let us all unite. Being gay is okay unless you're the FAA. They suck dick in a butt dick. The FAA is gay. In a bad way though, like being gay is cool, but the FAA is not cool, and they're gay, like in a derogatory way. So, yeah, just remember that. See you guys later, I love you guys. Thanks for watching. Tell me why I feel no test. Never been to church, but I feel so blessed. Niggas tell me no, but I feel so yes. Told them, nigga, I don't, nigga, I don't need your stress. Nigga, I don't, nigga, I don't need your stress. I'ma do me, I don't need your steps. They can all talk, I already know. One day I'ma glow, 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 glow. Whoa, waiting on the showtime. Right. It's me on my own time. Waiting on a sunrise. It's night. And I'ma be the one to.